After the successful installation and initiation of a remote desktop in our Windows machine, we will open a window remote desktop application in our machine and we can type either our IP address if we remember that or the device name which is Raspberry Pi and then we need to click on connect in order to connect our desktop or laptop to the Raspberry Pi and access it in it. Here we go, I click on connect. Hmm. Then we will click on connect. And this is the first step for entering into the remote desktop and we can from here we can uh, go on go ahead and operate the operating system of Raspberry Pi which we have installed previously as we as you can see in the previous video. By, an, by entering valid username and password we can find uh, yes by entering valid username and password we can find our particular IP address we, you can see it, it is the IP address of our Raspberry Pi and for that device we are using a remote desktop which is my laptop and we can operate that device with the help of my laptop. And this is the remote desktop. I mean, you might have understood about the remote desktop, which we can access the device without any uh, extensions with the help of our laptop. And it is, it is showing some warning like SSH secure shell is enabled. And yes, we need to enable it for the Pi and it will uh, minimize the risk and it will allow us to be safe in the network and it will allow us to configure the Raspberry Pi according to our settings. So let's go ahead and click on OK. And then we need to click on next to start and it is next we have started it and we need to get set it, uh, click everything and it's highly important guys we need to select the country and click on India and select languages and time zone and I'll skip it uh, forward and we can configure the Raspberry Pi settings and the password as our wish and immediately after restarting immediately okay. after starting the desktop after entering into the remote desktop i mean the raspberry pi operating system if there are any updates required then definitely please make sure that the raspberry pi operating system is up to date and if required we can update it in the terminal also or else uh, if it auto detects that there is an update required uh, there is an update available for this operating system then please click on yes and the update will take some time and then the operating system will be and the software as well will be updated uh, and then if we require we can check it in the terminal as well whether updates are available or whether the raspberry pi is up to date or not